Hello, this is Jan from JC WebTech. I create videos with uh, tutorials and tips and tricks for Elementor and web design in general. And today I have uh, for you a small tutorial on how to create this more creative mobile menu using the Elementor's uh, pop-up. So uh, as you probably know, with Elementor you have this uh, menu widget that on mobile automatically turns into something like like this that it is drop down but if you want something more creative if you want to add some elements for example as i'm using on my website where uh, i have this different effect with sliding from a side and also this uh, social media icons i wouldn't be able to create it with the default widget so I'm what I'm using a pop-up here and I will show you how to set it up and also this is a warm-up video for the next video where we will be extending this into a mega menu like I did on this project so uh, yeah if that's something that you are interested in it's also mobile friendly so uh, you can see we have these two levels of menu also on mobile which is super handy so if you are interested in seeing this mega video that is coming uh, pun intended so uh, just subscribe hit the bell button so that you don't miss it and for now let's go let me show you how to set up this uh, pop-up so uh, obviously we need to go edit the header and by the way this method has uh, benefit of the speed of the website because for some reason this uh, uh, Elementor's menu is quite heavy so if you if we, we disable it here uh, breakpoint we don't want to it to become uh, the mobile menu it will give you some uh, about like when I last tested it was like 10% uh, in the mobile score which is something uh, something nice uh, so yeah so we disable the breakpoint and we will also go to the advanced responsive and we will hide it on tablet and mobile where we want to have this mobile menu uh, showing and uh, with that uh, I will also add a new widget which will be the, the icon to the header uh, which uh, will be in line and here we can keep this is probably set to a space between but don't worry that this shifted into the middle because we will also make this responsive hide on desktop so that on desktop it will, it will actually on the front end be hidden so this menu will always jump back to right and obviously we don't want this to be a star so I think it is bars yes bars the menu icon you can upload your own icon doesn't really matter uh, we will style it to size uh, 25 pixels usually works well we will give it fading of 10 pixels so that it's easier to hit it with a thumb or with your finger on the touch screen yeah it looks about right here don't worry about it jumping down well actually and the preview it will go to its uh, right place so we have this icon that now we will we will need to create the pop-up that will be our our menu and then we will come back here to connect it so let me go to elementor pop-ups no template pop-ups and we will add new pop-up it will be mobile menu create i think there are actually a few examples already of this use case built by by elementor yeah you can see this is kind of a, a menu 
but let's, let's go let's build it from scratch so uh, let's put it here on column or maybe we will be seeing this in uh, when the when the container is fully rolled out but will not change much about this about this tutorial so I'm still doing it with the with the sections and columns but will make no no difference so we still want to drop in the navigation menu uh, we will make it vertical um, I don't want it to be underlining but it's really up to you to style how you want to style it uh, I kind of like it left aligned but it's really on your use case and we do not want it to be breaking on on any breakpoint or changing on any breakpoint into a mobile menu so and uh, just to demonstrate the flexibility that you have so let's drop the social icons for example android uh, yeah just give it some uh, a little bit of a design for the radius it should be a zero more spacing so let's maybe then align this in the center uh, maybe some icon list below you get the point you can put here any any widgets any design you can put like contact details maybe so let's put let's do that let's put our last thing header it would be actually a style let's get link style and let's use that center line i probably edit the link or something well, let me just make some space yeah okay and now we need to set up this uh, go to the settings of the pop-up and uh, it fill to fill, uh, fit to screen to cover the whole uh, screen on the on the device. Um, then we will make this uh, height vertical align. Let's center. Let's center it. So I think I need to make this hundred percent height as well. This. Uh, this column so or this section uh, so uh, it should be in a layout height min height I, I didn't it would work just similar to fit to screen but it's better to use the min height uh, always use the min height 100 vh instead of fit to screen because then it could actually shrink and uh, you wouldn't see the rest of the content so like this we have it nicely centered we have the close button and we also need to uh, set the width it will be actually at the setting of the pop-up yeah the width uh, viewport yeah it's like, like, let's do it 90 it's basically 90 percent of the of the width uh, so it will have this like overlapping effect and uh, entrance animation I always get this wrong so fade in right fade out right let's hope I get this right make it faster zero three yeah and uh, this should be it don't want any condition because we will set it up on the actual button so let's see if we can if it we can do that already here so we go to the dynamic options we are searching for pop-up now this is not the most intuitive thing but we need to click uh, on this uh, tool icon open pop-up 
obviously not all of them but mobile menu yeah it already found it and uh, unless I skip some step it should be working now so uh, let me refresh it there is no difference on the on the desktop it stays the same but on mobile now we are actually seeing this is the icon that we created and voila you can see this this the jitters like this a little but for me it's, it's only happening on the on the desktop it does not happen on uh, on when you do it on your mobile phone it says probably on desktop when it is preview mode it has kind of hard time def um, defining how tall is actually the viewport but in the on the mobile it it works so you can try it on the mobile it works fine i could go back and and maybe make the close button bigger so i go to style close button uh, and size let's do the trusted 25 uh, save and close yeah yeah now I tried to I would probably go and back and position it to have the close button exactly where where this is but I'm already pretty happy with the results I think it looks more modern and uh, it gives you some extra extra space for creativity so all your website don't look exactly the same at least in terms of the mobile menu but you have some extra extra point of uh, creativity so yeah so this is it uh, i hope you find this useful yeah, you might have some concern about uh, accessibility or about seo actually it's true that this this pop-up is not exactly part of the dome until it's uh, called until it's opened until it's uh, you click the button so it would be definitely recommended to put all your links also into in your footer so that there are the link the website is linked to other sub pages so that you are safe for for seo and the website can be easily crawled without any problem and so uh, and yeah in terms of accessibility it kind of depends what kind of accessibility you are going for because actually for some kind of uh, accessibility for example uh, or somebody that having a hard time clicking small things this can be actually better uh, but it might be not completely semantically right in terms of the structure and going for for somebody like voice reading the website might not be the best option but well until elementor comes up with something better that has that is natively there we don't really have another option how to pull this out so just bear these uh, things in mind but i guess uh, free to feel free to use this uh, unless you are super conscious about some particular accessibility on your website for some specific use case anyway with this i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you will be uh, able to use this and up your game in terms of uh, mobile menus and well i see you in the next one with the mega menus mm -hmm.